Roland's whiskey. The best whiskey so far. <laughs> All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mike Starr, and welcome to the show. Now, cut a long story short, I recently watched Rosemary's Baby. Now, I've seen this movie many times. It's one of my favorite horror films of all time. This is a long-awaited review of the movie Rosemary's Baby. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and enjoy this movie review. So, the film is directed by Roman Polanski. Yep, this is the film that put him on the map. Set in the late 60s, early 70s era. And it's set in New York. Starring Mia Farrow. John Cassavetes, you know, um, Ruth Gordon, and uh, many more phenomenal actors. Now, the uh, story starts where the new couple, the Woodhouses, yes, a happily married couple, the Woodhouses, Guy Woodhouse and Rosemary Woodhouse, go to inspect because they want to move to this apartment in New York, go to inspect this apartment. It looks like it looks really good from the get go. And, you know, upon, you know, inspecting it, they find, you know, that there's this door behind this weird wardrobe cupboard thing. And uh, it's strange, you know, because the old lady that, that used to live there died. And she dragged it in front of this, uh, this, this door, which was hiding a wardrobe. Um, Sorry, they yeah yeah it was a wardrobe, but it was like this cupboard in front of the wardrobe. So she dragged this uh, cupboard, and it was blocking this uh, uh, you know th this closet, whatever it was. Anyways, but you know the um, the real estate agent says you know she was nineteen years old. There's no way that she could have dragged it from there to there because it was it was it was quite heavy. But um, anyways, they just kind of brushed it off. They liked the apartment. They end up moving in there. Everything seems to be going, going great, you know. Um, they move in, you know, the husband is a struggling actor, Guy Woodhouse, Rosemary Woodhouse's husband, he's a struggling actor, and, you know, he's done television work, he's done a lot of work, but it's kind of slowed down for him, you know. And, um, yeah, you know, uh, Rosemary Woodhouse, she's, you know, the housewife, she, you know, doesn't really work. Um, she wants to have a kid. Um, and then they become friends with the uh, lovely older couple that live upstairs. You know, Roman and Minnie Castavet, The Castavets, right? And then they can't get rid of them, you know. They're always there. They're having dinners with them. You know, they're always crossing paths throughout the day. And, um, yeah. But the movie takes a dark turn when one day... Rosemary Woodhouse is in the basement of the apartment doing her washing where she meets a lady who who tells Rosemary that the uh, the older couple upstairs helped her out you know and they gave her this this necklace with this pendant and it has this like weird smell and it comes from this herb called tannis root and um, and yeah and you know, this lady washing the uh, clothes down there with Rosemary, you know, says a lot of good things about this older couple upstairs. Anyways, from there. From there, it goes dark, right? One day, Minnie and Roman, the older couple upstairs, are coming home from their night out where they find that the lady who was doing her washing, not Rosemary, the other lady, has jumped to her death out from her apartment window and she's there on the sidewalk splattered and um this old couple you know just you know in shock they don't know what to say they um they knew the lady but yeah so shifting over to the events that happened after this you know um yeah so from there you know um Guy Woodhouse and Rosemary, they want to have a baby, and, you know, they want to have a baby really bad, but Rosemary's the one that really wants to have the baby, you know, so she kind of 
keeps on, you know, hassling her husband. I want to have a baby, I want to have a baby. So then one night they decide to have a baby and then it goes, it goes like really rogue when they're having dinner and they hear a knock at the door and the, um, the older lady that lives upstairs gives the couple like this chocolate mousse and they're eating it, um, at the dinner table. And, um, you know, Rosemary starts to feel like really dizzy and faint. And then she passes out and she has these weird dreams where she's on this boat shifting to her in her apartment where there are these people around her chanting and, you know, raping her. And there's like, you know, it's like, it's like a sacrifice, you know, some, some satanic stuff. And it's just, it gets crazier and crazier. Next morning she wakes up. She's like, I had this weird dream. She doesn't know whether it was a dream or it really happened, but then she just thinks, okay, it's a dream, you know? And from there, it gets even weirder and weirder. And the lady upstairs, Minnie, she gives that pendant that was on the dead lady to Rosemary and says, it'll bring you good luck. You know, it's good for the baby, this and that. And then later, Rosemary finds out she's pregnant. She sees this doctor, you know, her doctor, and she's really happy, but then, the older couple upstairs says, I have this, I know this um, really good doctor. Um, uh, I forgot his name. His name was Abraham Sapistein. That was his name. And he intervenes and he takes Rosemary from, he, he takes Rosemary from her regular doctor into his, um, into his care. And she gives him like these pills and says, you know, that lady upstairs, she's got a herb garden, she'll make you like a vitamin rich drink instead of, you know, taking their regular supplements that uh, doctors give their patients during pregnancy. But then Rosemary has really bad stomach aches and it just gets really crazier and crazier. And then her friend who comes to visit her one day, like mysteriously dies and in his will, you know, gives Rosemary this book about witches and you know, from there she finds out that, you know, she finds out the dark secrets, you know, uh, like, like she finds out the, the, um, I guess you could say the truth about, I, I guess the world of witches she finds out, she finds out about witches, right? And then it talks about these witches, right? And the person Hutch, her good friend, this old man that died mysteriously, it's got like all the underlying sections and all the sections, you know, uh, that he wanted her to read before he died because he was in a coma and then he briefly came out of the coma and he did all these things so she could read it because he mysteriously um, yeah, died. And then upon reading all these weird things, she finds out that, you know, that there are all these witches in, in all these parts of the world and... Um, she thinks her, the, the people upstairs, the older couple, are witches. And it gets like crazier and crazier and weirder and weirder to the climax where it just it just explodes. And it's just a great movie, right? But, um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's like your regular horror movie. It's more drama, story, creepy, not blood and guts. But the way it's made is just one of a kind. And they made a mini series. I think in 2014 with, uh, I think her name was Zoe Sultanas or some shit. But, um, yeah, that one wasn't really, it wasn't really good. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I don't want to watch it because, you know, the original is the one you want to see. The remake is just them trying to say, Hey, we want to beat the classic, but we can't. So we'll just make this because you know, we want to cash in on the nostalgia, but definitely a movie. If you haven't seen it, go out there and watch it. <sighs> okay, well, that about wraps it up for this video. I um, I'm your host, Mike Starr, and um, I'm telling you to go out there and watch it. You know, I don't review shit movies here, okay? I'm a good, good you know, person when it comes to picking movies, all right? I don't like just any random stuff, all right? This movie is quality, not quantity, all right? Not like the bunch of Marvel films you see today. This movie's got a great story, 
great climax, it's creepy, it's one of a kind. If you're not into horror movies, fair enough. Watch this movie and you be the judge, okay? So I'm Mike Starr, hope you all have enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. No, seriously, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't view this video and say, hmm, I could comment him, but I'm not going to. Do it. Because you won't be disappointed with this movie. So, I'm Mike Starr. I'm going to go now and do my singing lessons because I've started a band. And, you know, I might document that in the future. But as of now, I've got to practice. I've got to warm up the vocals. And, um, yeah, so... I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you all for watching, subscribing. Contact me below if you want to just, you know, be a member of uh, my channel. Or, you know, if you're a woman that, that wants, wants to get to know me, because I'm a stud muffin here, you know, do so in the comments down below. So, <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Hope you all have a good night. And, you know, even if you're depressed or whatever, you know, I've gone through it all. Message me. Can't sleep. I'll talk to you, I'll do whatever, I'm off now, have a good night, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, until next time, I'll see you later.